welcome back to uh, Low Tech Garage. Today we're going to tackle a uh, project on our F-150 shop truck. Uh, Faithful Truck has uh, had a problem that you see on a lot of older vehicles, um, and that is that the plastic headlight assemblies have actually become discolored with age. Um, just the sunshine alone will do this, and actually if you um, use certain car cleaners on the headlights of the car that'll accelerate it so something to watch out for um, in the future now there's a couple of ways of tackling this um, there's a number of methods of actually I'll say cleaning and refacing the headlights um, you know those work um, I think they don't necessarily ha ha give you a long-lived solution um, uh, but they're inexpensive and they're easy because you don't have to, you know, remove the headlight assembly. Um, but in actual fact, uh, certainly for this vehicle, you can get replacement headlights uh, at a very inexpensive price. And so we're going to go ahead and actually put replacements in. Um, the ones we're going to use, we found, let me put it the right way up. We found on eBay, uh, they come with new bulbs, um, and I think we paid a little bit more than $40 for the pair. So it seems like good value. So follow along as we show you how to remove the old ones and put the new ones in the truck. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna have to do is remove um, this assembly, which is the uh, trim that goes around the headlight, has a side marker and turn signal in it. Um, and that'll come away, leaving the headlight in place, and then we'll go ahead and remove and replace that. To, uh, to take this trim out, uh, there's a couple things. Uh, the obvious ones is the two crosshead screws on the top. And then less obvious, let's see if we can see down in here. I'll put a wrench on one so you can see where it is. Um, on our truck, that was an 11 mil. I've heard of some trucks needing a 10, so, um, but whichever way you need um, a long socket, get in there. There's a bolt there, and then there's one just over on the other side in there as well. Uh, you can get to them with the battery in place. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. Um, but actually, um, you know, it's not too tough to take the battery out. You've just got the little wedge bolt that I'm focusing on there. Take that out, disconnect the battery cables, and, you know, you can lift the battery out of the way. Um, again, it'll come out without doing that, and so that's the approach I'm going to take. As you um, come to remove the uh, bolt on the fender side here, uh, you may find that taking the connector for the headlamp out of the way is going to give you more room for your wrench. Um, pretty straightforward. You see this blue-gray collar. Let's see if I can keep focused on this while I do this. Um, I said basically a twist and then this will pull back and it should let you just take the assembly out of the headlight. You can kind of see this little seal there that held it in and uh, so just once you've undone the blue grey ring you know just a gentle pull pop that orange seal free and then you can move that out of the way and that'll give you a little bit more room to get the wrench in um, on that second bolt. So once the uh, two bolts on the inside have been removed, you can see the uh, trim here is now ready to come out. Um, just a little tip as you're undoing the bolts on the back, you know, what I found is um, if you just apply a little bit of pressure in here, keep the pressure on the edge as you're undoing it, that'll let the ratchet on your ratchet wrench continue to work and uh, just speeds up, you know, the the removal um, and so now what we're going to do there's a couple of uh, connectors down inside here and we're going to take those out um, and actually I'm going to go ahead and replace the you know the bulbs in this side marker and turn signal just because um, it you know while it's apart it's a couple bucks and then you know that'll make sure they keep working for a long time so having removed the uh, trim assembly from the light wanted to share with you one of the unexpected things that you can come across i guess um you know i talked about the two 
11 mil bolts that had to be undone. And then you can see, you know, this one over here was one of them, still in place, came undone just fine. Um, but this one, clearly someone had previously had an issue with it because um, the plastic um, hole there is where the, uh, you know, retainer for the stud used to be. Um, and I ended up finding a bunch of debris and then the stud was still, let me show you here, uh, the stud was still actually stuck in this hole here. So I've dismantled all the old pieces um, and I think I'm going to proceed with replacing, you know, the dull headlight because it's right here. Um, but then I think I'm going to go ahead and get the new uh, surround piece that actually has, um, you know, this sort of side marker piece in it um, so that ultimately, you know, we've got something that's fixed properly. Uh, temporarily, this will go back because between this bolt and the two screws at the top here, it stays in place pretty well. So for now, I'll do that. The truck will be usable and then we'll source the trim pieces and um, replace those as well. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and take the actual headlight unit out. Um, and on top, you can see this is a height adjuster. And down in here, you see this metal clip. Um, we're going to need to lift that up with a pair of maybe long nose pliers, I think should do it. And then there's one on the other side. And you've just got to take uh, the trim here, you know, pull it back a little. And then you can see the one in there as well. So we're gonna get a pair of long nose pliers and um, that with a little help of a long screwdriver, we should better lift those upwards. And then at that point, the two upper mounting points for the uh, headlight will be disconnected. So in the end, I actually found, I've got a pair of long nose vice grips that work really well. Um, here's the two clips out. You can see that was the face you had and by getting on two sides of this with the vice grip and just continue to pull you know kind of move side to side uh, it took a little bit of wiggling but not too bad and uh, they popped out so having removed the top two you can see the headlights quite loose so we're going to come around and I think you can probably see yeah right in there is the third clip and just like the other two that's got to be lifted up. Uh, this one's a little more tricky to get to. Um, I think I'm going to approach it from under the hood where you can get to the inside of it. Um, so let's see if that works. And if it does, I'll try and get a camera shot so you can see how I did it. So when it comes to uh, removing the third clip, there is an alternate method. And so this rod is the adjuster um, to tip the headlights up and down um, and you can see here you can put a very small socket I've got some uh, vice grips on there as you rotate that it um, screws this in and out so actually what you can do is you can just keep rotating that and um, eventually this will unscrew and that will save you again having to take the clip off from behind here and then the new bolt um, like this from the new headlight will just go in here you just got to do the adjuster back up to get you to the correct height. You know, my suggestion before you start undoing this, I kind of put this in and you see, you know, just take your time to measure, you know, from here to the back of this. Let me just make sure you can see, yeah, the back of this plastic clip between those two um, on your existing install. And then when you come to put the new one in, you can just put it back to that same measurement. And again, headlights should be pretty close to being perfect. And then I think this is a good point to uh, just take a look and make sure that all the lights are working. So here I've got the three that come on, like the side markers and the uh, parking lights. And then check your turn signal as well. Um, the replacement headlights came with new bulbs. So I'm hoping those will work out good, but really easy to change these at this point. So just before we put the new headlight in, um, take a look at the distance between this clip and the plastic housing here. And then look at it on the old one. So you can see this gap here is bigger than this one. So I'm gonna take a moment, you just need a crosshead screwdriver in here. 
I'm going to adjust this one so that it matches my old one. And again, that's just going to help with making sure the headlight alignment's pretty good right out of the gate. Uh, I'm going to do the same on the other side. The only difference is you've got like a little hex that you need to use to adjust it. Okay, so once, once you've uh, got to that stage, you can see that you've got the top locator mount here and then it's twin over on this side. You need to, having adjusted them to the right distance, just push them in. And then what you can do is, you can see on the top, you know, I use those same vice grips to hold the clip, pushed it back down. And similarly, you know, push this one here. And then, um, as I mentioned, I decided to keep the old adjuster unit so I didn't have to fight with that clip. Seems to work fine. Um, but I used the post off the new light. So you just feed that in here and then actually turn, you know, the adjuster rod, which is this anti-clockwise, and it'll bite on this and it'll just start moving it in. And then if you measured this distance, like I talked about earlier, you know, you could just go ahead and um, get that set the same. And then at that point, you basically have the headlight itself in place. Okay, so once the two clips are in, and then you've made the adjustment we talked about here, next up is to put the surround back in. Um, and that's, you know, simple. It's just a uh, reverse of how we took it out. So we're gonna take the, uh, you know, the, the bulbs here, and this guy and the third one that's hiding and um actually initially just the two side ones i guess um bring them out through their openings so i have to pull one out through here see if we can get that done now so you can see yeah there we go Okay, so we're gonna take these two, clip them into their housing, uh, and then we're gonna go and put the housing back in place. Gonna put a couple of the um, screws, maybe just one um, in the top here, and that's just gonna stop it from slipping. Um, and then we're gonna go after those 11 mil bolts on the inside, uh, nip those up. Again, remember they're held in plastic, so don't go too crazy on those. Nip them up and they'll be just fine. Um, and then after that, uh, we're going to replace you know this lower bulb into that housing and then finally replace you know the headlamp bulb the new one in the top at that point we, uh, we'll reseat the trim and we'll be all done so this is the trim with the two side bulbs put in i'm not sure i really explained um but the uh removal of those is just as uh about a 20 or 30 degree turn anti-clockwise and then those plastic holders come out and then refitting them is the reverse so you just line the tabs up twist till they're in that location and then you're good to go and we're going to just move the trim into position like that and make sure that you've got the two holes here and here basically lined up and you'll have located the two 11 mil studs you know, this one's about here, one's about here, through the housing in the back. At this point, we're gonna just put a screw gently into here. See if I can reach one. You can do this one just finger tight, but that's just gonna stop the housing falling. And then now we're gonna go in behind here with our trusty 11 mil. And again, some trucks have 10, so, you know, just try the socket fit by hand before you start working with a wrench, would be my suggestion. Um, I won't be able to film doing this um, because I'm going to need both hands. Um, so back soon. So this is maybe a good moment to introduce just like a little tech tip. Um, to get this nut on the stud, um, you have to go down like through a hole in that back plate under the hood. And it goes into sort of a double skinned steel member. Um, and if you, you know, the stud doesn't come all the way through, right? Um, if you drop that in there, there's no guarantee you're going to be able to easily get it. Um, so a little tip is if you take the 
socket you're using like this and then take um, I happen to have some PTFE tape but electrical tape some kind of tape you can actually uh, put a little tape around the nut and hold it onto the end of the socket and then that way um, you'll be able to push the socket through the hole find the stud start it and the nut will stay attached um, you know to the socket and then once it's done up the tape won't be strong enough you'll be able to break the socket free um, and that way you won't end up dropping that nut down inside the chassis somewhere and never see it again. So here's the nut. You can see I've just wrapped that PTFE tape around it, especially PTFE tape's very thin. So the fact that I've covered the hole here won't be an issue at all. And then if I put enough on, we should be able to put the socket on top, you know, and now it's wedged in there pretty good. And you can see, even if I turn it upside down, now the nut's gonna stay in there. Um, and it can make the difference between this going smoothly and becoming a nightmare. So just thought I'd pass that along. Okay, so I've tightened up the 11mm uh, bolt on the inside. And now we're just gonna finish by uh, limping up these crosshead screws. And again, don't have to go too crazy. Um, if these ones do have more robust metal clips, but still be thoughtful that there's quite a bit of plastic componentry around here. So they're done. And then finally, you've got the hood seal that we had pulled back and you just wanna go ahead and push that you know, back into its original location. So all that's left now is to uh, put the two bulbs in on the inside. So as far as putting the headlight in, um, I got a new securing collar with mine, and this is the old one. And it, you just can rotate it and it comes off the end of the harness here. And you can see the clip, so you wanna make sure, um, you know, that um, when you're all done, you basically uh, push this cable till that snaps over the bulb. The bulb's gonna go in the housing but you want to have put the securing collar on and then you can see on the inside here, the uh, three pegs, basically those will go on, you'll twist it and that'll essentially lock the bulb into the housing. So again, this locks the bulb into the housing. This clip is what locks the harness onto the bulb. And, um, and then just one last thing, I guess I found a little bit of light corrosion on this contact when I took mine apart. Um, I just took like a little wire brush, cleaned it up and actually, you know, just got rid of it. Uh, just took a few seconds, but worth doing if yours should be like that. So I thought I'd just show you the orientation of the new bulb. Um, just so it's really clear about how this piece works. Um, so you can see first off that this is the top of the lamp and so you see this is sort of a D shape, the flat of the D points up. So keep that in mind. Um, you can rotate this collar off. And then once it's loose, then actually, you know, you can kind of pull the bulb just a little bit. That's the O-ring coming off. Now, if you look in here, you'll see there's three pegs. We just, one at the top and then two off at the sides. And, you know, if you look on the bulb housing, you can sort of see that. So again, what you want to do is put the bulb in with that uh, flat of the D, as it were, at the top. Um, so you can put that in. Let me see if I can do this with one hand. Yeah, just about like that. And then that lock thing goes in and just a little twist once it once it, there's pegs it slides over and just a little twist and that just pushes that o-ring in and makes a really nice seal and after you've done that that's when you're going to snap the uh, harness into the back here so having connected that last thing you always do is test the lights so here is the old one you can see the dullness on the actual headlight and coming over here 
as you'd expect. Um, you know, much nicer looking headlight. Um, you know, in fact, looks new and puts the rest of the housing to shame. Um, so overall, successful project. Um, hope that was helpful to you. As always, we really appreciate you taking time to look at our low-tech videos. Um, the reason we do it is for you. Um, and if you like what you see, um, this is one of the many vehicles that we do numerous um, maintenance tasks on. So uh, take a second to click subscribe. And then that way, the next time we're doing a job on our F-150, uh, you'll get to, to see it and just maybe it's something that you need to address as well. Have a good day. And again, thanks for watching.